The bench is gone, but not the threat. This is where a former Russian spy and his daughter collapsed. Victims of a nerve agent poisoning blamed on Russia. Three years on, could MI5 stop another Salisbury-style attack? I think we have entered the same realm that we are in with our counter-terrorism colleagues, which is that we do absolutely everything we can to stop any events from taking place in the UK which are damaging the UK population or property, but there are no absolute guarantees. I cannot say for certain that we are safe. This is the first time counterintelligence officers from the security service have given an interview, a move authorised by MI5's Director General. Tom and Kate spoke off camera to protect their identities, so these are reenactments. Kate said the mission of the military intelligence unit accused of the poisonings is centred on eliminating Russia's enemies abroad and destabilising the West. Effectively a deniable group of individuals, or at least I assume their intention was to be deniable, but to conduct what is pretty dirty work on behalf of the Russian state. Russia denies any involvement in the attack on Sergei and Yulia Skripal, but the then head of the hospital that treated them revealed fears of a second attempt on their lives. We were, of course, worried whether someone might want to come back and finish off the job, and we didn't know for sure whether somebody would try um, and, uh, and kill them. So we had to be very careful to ensure um, security um, in the intensive care unit. It's not just the Skripals at risk. MI5 has bolstered protection for other people who might be targeted. We know that the Russian state continues to take an interest in people here who we deem to be at risk. And that's not a passive interest. It's quite an active interest. Tom told me the attack here in Salisbury accelerated changes that were already underway across the intelligence community to deal with the Russia threat. This includes with MI5, MI6 and GCHQ pooling their resources into a single Russia mission in much the same way as they work together to counter the threat from terrorism. Britain kicked out almost two dozen Russian spies in response to Salisbury. Moscow apparently keen to rebuild its team here. We work really hard on preventing them from doing that. Have we been entirely successful? Time will tell. Russia deemed an evolving, though not a worsening, danger. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.